Pompey, FA Youth Cup tomorrow evening. How much are you looking forward to the game? Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I know the boys are excited and it's it's a fantastic draw. It really is. I mean, you know, you could look at the draw and you, you'd want the home one, obviously, but we haven't got that. Or you'd want, you know, one that you're probably playing against a lesser side in, in the competition. But for me, if you're going to gonna have a decent draw in the first round, you want to play somewhere that's an arena. And Fratton Park is, you know, it's an old premiership ground. It's a great arena to play in. Um, it'd be great for the lads to be involved in. And it's something different from... Just touch upon that um, slightly more. Obviously, Fratton Park's a, a vast stadium. Mm -hmm. Does that add more pressure to the players, or do you think they'll thrive in that environment? I think the occasion in itself, regardless of this is, if it's at Fratton Park or not, is, is a big occasion. There's no hiding away from that. You know, it's, we, want, we want the boys to enjoy the pressure, not to not to feel the pressure and and, and you know prevent them from what they normally do. Is they've got to thrive on it because ultimately, if they want a career in the game and you know when they want to make it in the game, they've got to be able to enjoy these situations. You know, this is this is a game that's not going to come around very often. So for them to to enjoy the occasion. And regardless of where it's been played, it's an FA Youth Cup, right? So you, you want to win the game, you want to progress. Everyone looks forward to the Youth Cup. Everyone remembers the games when you played in the Youth Cup. So it's it's the added incentive that it is at Fratton Park, of course, um, a massive stadium. Uh, but it's one the boys really need to, to grasp with both hands and enjoy it. You've had a weekend off, a rare weekend off. Yeah. Uh, just gone. Mm. That aids to the preparations heading to Wednesday's game? I think in this circumstance it has, because we, we had a few knocks and niggles after the Bournemouth game. Um, it's given us, you know, vital time to get lads rested and, and ready to go. Um, it's also given us a, a bit of a break, which is again, it's been nice just to have a weekend off and, and gather our thoughts after the Bournemouth game. You know, we lost in the last minute; it was tough to take. So it's it's nice to get back to it with a, a fresh mindset, and you know, really looking forward to the game ahead. Focusing on your your squad for tomorrow. One that catches the eyes, Harry Warwick. I think it's the eleven goals now, ten appearances for the youngster. Yeah. How important has his contribution been so far this season? Well, he, he's massive. Yeah, he's our top goal scorer by, by a country mile. He, uh, the way he plays suits the way we like to play in terms of scoring goals and getting opposition and, and using the ball well to get in behind. Um, his attributes, as I touched on a couple of times before, he, are outstanding for what he does. His raw pace and power, his athleticism and his finishing ability in and around the box. You know, he's... The, the stats don't lie. Eleven in ten is is a fantastic return for for anyone. Um, and again, he's a second year scholar. We did it last year. He only played twelve games the whole last season. I think he scored scored eleven again, and he's hit that target already in less games. Um, so he, you know he's massive for the group. He's a big personality in the dressing room. He's he's a second year. You know the, the younger ones look up to him, and he leads by example, not necessarily you know through communication or by the way he plays, but his goals. And I think it's it's massive for everyone that, you know, no pressure on him, but he, like the other 17 involved, have to have a good night. And talk us through some of the squad members who will be looking to make an impact tomorrow night. You obviously look to your second years, because obviously they've they played last year, they've been involved in the competition before. Um, you look to your, your leaders in the dressing room, so to speak, so, you know, your Tom Mayhews and, and Jamie Bremner, Lewis Cluttons of this world to, you know, really take a lead tomorrow night and, and really step up to the plate because ultimately they've all got to impress you know is they not just those second years everyone's there to impress I want the first years to stand up and and really make an impression on the game because it's, it's an occasion to do so it's not an occasion to to let it go and, and let it pass you by it's, it's too much of an important game every game is important but this one it's just got that added feeling because it's a youth cup that you know like I said the boys need to enjoy it but you're looking particularly in the, in the second years, to really put their authority on the game and stamp stamp their authority on the game. You mentioned the, the, the draw of the FA Youth Cup. It's a fixture that stands out for football fans, I'm sure. But how much are you hoping that tomorrow night's game is the start of a, a journey in the competition? We haven't had a decent cup run, to be honest, in both the Youth Cup or the League Cup in, in a few years. So it'd be nice, you know, it'd be nice to, to go as far as we can. We take inspiration from Blackpool and, and Plymouth last season. Plymouth got to the quarters. I think not back to Fulham, but they beat Man City and Burnley along the way, which is fantastic. And, you know, Plymouth are in our league, they're a cat three, a decent cat three. So there's no reason, you know, like we said to the boys, with a bit of belief and a game plan, and there's no reason why we can't do it. But ultimately, you take it one round at a time. We want to win, we want to progress. It's a, it's a competitive cup competition. And, and although we want the boys to enjoy it, ultimately, we want to come away tomorrow night 
with a victory and progressing into the into the next round. And I think that, as much as enjoying the experience, is something we've definitely stressed to the players that you should want to win this game. This is one when you look back on, you think, yeah, when I played at Fratton Park, we won that game. And, that, and that's the feeling you should have when you come off the pitch at the end.